Welcome to morning prayer on Wednesday morning. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love, according to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy, to you be praise and glory for ever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 38 Rebuke me not, O Lord, in your anger, neither chasten me in your heavy displeasure. For your arrows have stuck fast in me, and your hand presses hard upon me. There is no health in my flesh because of your indignation, there is no peace in my bones because of my sin. For my iniquities have gone over my head. Their weight is a burden too heavy to bear. My wounds stink and fester because of my foolishness. I am utterly bowed down and brought very low. I go about mourning all the day long. My loins are filled with searing pain. There is no health in my flesh. I am feeble and utterly crushed. I roar aloud because of the disquieting of my heart. O oh Lord, you know all my desires, and my sighing is not hidden from you. My heart is pounding, my strength has failed me, the light of my eyes is gone from me. My friends and companions stand apart from my affliction, my neighbours stand af afar off. Those who seek after my life lay snares for me, and those who would harm me whisper evil and mutter slander all the day long. But I am like one who is deaf and hears not, like one that is dumb who does not open his mouth. I have become like one who does not hear, and from whose mouth comes no retort. For in you, Lord, have I put my trust. You will answer me, O Lord my God. For I said, let them not triumph over me, those who exult over me when my foot slips. Truly, I am on the verge of falling, and my pain is ever with me. I will confess my iniquity and be sorry for my sin. Those that are my enemies without any cause are mighty, and those who hate me wrongfully are many in number. Those who repay evil for good are against me, because the good is what I seek. Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The canticle is the Song of Manasar. Full of compassion and mercy and love is God the Most High, the Almighty. Lord Almighty and God of our ancestors, you who made heaven and earth in all their glory, all things tremble with awe at your presence before your great and mighty power. Immeasurable and unsearchable is your promised mercy, for you are God most high. You are full of compassion, long-suffering and very merciful, and you relent at human suffering. O God, according to your great goodness, you have promised forgiveness for repentance to those who have sinned against you. The sins I have committed against you are more in number than the sands of the sea. I am not worthy to look up to the height of heaven because of the multitude of my iniquities. And now I bend the knee of my heart before you, imploring your kindness upon me. I have sinned, O God, I have sinned, and I acknowledge my transgressions. Unworthy as I am, you will save me, according to your great mercy. 
for all the host of heaven sings your praise and your glory is for ever and ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Full of compassion and mercy and love is God the Most High, the Almighty. Today's reading is from John chapter 8, beginning at verse 12. Again, Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Then the Pharisees said to him, You are testifying on your own behalf. Your testimony is not valid. Jesus answered, Even if I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is valid, because I know where I have come from and where I am going. But you do not know where I come from or where I am going. You judge by human standards. I judge no one. Yet even if I do judge, my judgment is valid, for it is not I alone who judge, but I am the Father who sent me. In your law it is written that the testimony of two witnesses is valid. I testify on my own behalf, and the Father who sent me testifies on my behalf. Then they said to him, Where is your father? Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my father. If you knew me, you would also know my father. He spoke these words while he was teaching in the treasury of the temple, but no one arrested him because his hour had not yet come. Again he said to them, I am going away and you will search for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. Then the Jews said, Is he going to kill himself? Is that what he means by saying, Where I am going, you cannot come? He said to them, You are from below and I from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins, for you will die in your sins unless you believe that I am he. They said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, Why do I speak to you at all? I have much to say about you and much to condemn, but the one who sent me is true, and I declare to the world what I have heard from him. They did not understand that he was speaking to them about the Father. So Jesus said, when you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will realise that I am he, and that I do nothing on my own. But I speak these things as the Father instructed me. And the one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do what is pleasing to him. As he was saying these things, many believed in him. Here ends the reading. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Saviour of the world. Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our saviour and mighty deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. And so we pray. Almighty God, we pray today for the stories making news headlines from around our world. Father, we pray for those who find themselves in the middle of a crisis today. We pray for those whose lives have been completely turned upside down. And we pray for those who feel they have no hope. 
Lord, we pray for our social services and for all whom they will support today. We pray for those who work in the criminal justice system and we pray for the victims and perpetrators of crime. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>